Now that we've defined the rules and the starting state of our Turing machine, which is comparable to a computer program, we can run it on some example input. Let's say we store 110 onto tape. That's two ones, which means there is an even number of ones. Notice that our rules only ever move the head to the right, so the rest of the tape is irrelevant. We'll leave it blank for simplicity. Our Turing machine is all ready to go, so let's start it. Our state is even, and the first number we see is a one. That matches our topmost rule, and so we execute the effect, which is to update the state to odd and move the read-write head to the right by one spot. OK, now we see another one on the tape, but this time our state is odd, and so we execute our third rule, which sets the state back to even and moves the head to the right. Now we see a zero and our current state is even, so we execute our second rule, which is to write a one to the tape, signifying that yes, it's true, there is an even number of ones. And finally, the machine halts.